Marco and happy holidays. I'm Lynette Cardi and this segment I promised you a lady who was going to have you looking fabulous for the new year. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Susan O'Malley. Welcome. Yes, no, you pleasure, are from pleasure. Sonus Spa. Sonus Met Spa in and, Madison, Connecticut. In Madison, Connecticut. Right. But before I even get into all the great things that you do there, I just want to share with our viewers a little bit of your backstory. Because sure. it was just so intriguing to me that you dropped out of college, I did. went back to school I late, did. became a, a medical doctor in your thir late 30s, and then decided to break away from the emergency room and start your own business. At age 50. At age 50. It's never too late. It's never too late. And can you it's believe this woman late. is a little older than 50 now? It's and look how fabulous she looks. Bless you. And it's not the camera. She looks <laughs> fabulous. I'm in person with her and she looks fabulous. <laughs> so let's talk about that. Okay. Women always um, want to look better. We Absolutely. want to look a little younger than our age. Absolutely. Um, I'll use myself. I'm getting the parentheses. <laughs> I want the parentheses gone. So let's talk about some of the things that um, you provide. The first one I want to ask you about is Titan with Viora and what's the difference yes. between so that and Botox? My whole practice is non-surgical. Everything right. I do is non-surgical. So we can, when you're talking about non-surgical anti-aging, you're either talking about machines to tighten you up or injections to give you back volume or to relax wrinkles. So the Biora is a machine that uses radio frequency. Radio frequency has been around since 2001, 2002 in the cosmetic arena. arena. So it has withstood the test of time. It works. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to use a machine to tighten up, then you have to be prepared for gradual results. Some women don't want gradual results. Some women immediate. want immediate results. You won't get immediate results from a machine. Okay. You'll get gradual results. But they'll be very natural. And if you want to keep a secret, it's a great way to do it. Okay. Because a lot of my ladies like to keep everything a secret. Yeah, keep everything yeah. a secret. Yeah. You don't want yeah. people to know. No, you don't want people to yes. know. Yes. Yeah. Now, what about the Botox? So Botox, on the other hand, is a chemical that relaxes wrinkles. And you age from here up differently than you would age from here down. From here no up. No joke, because some of no my body joke. parts are brand new, <laughs> no, and no, some look no, very. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but from here up, I can help you with Botox. Okay. Because what the Botox does is it prevents a certain chemical from being released, and your body needs that chemical in order for your muscles to contract. So your body still makes the chemical, it just doesn't release it. And when it doesn't release it, then the muscle can't contract. When the muscle relaxes, the skin relaxes. And that's the whole theory so the, behind Botox. The, uh, and it's the two lines oh, I got right yeah, here, right they, it there. looks like an indentation. Gone. Gone. Now, I'll tell five you, minutes, I'll I use a away. topical cream that seems to get rid of it during the day. Oh, that's good. But at night, it's... Well, because it's not, because you're not addressing the underlying problem. The underlying okay. problem is that your muscles are contracting, so you're smoothing out your skin, but the underlying problem is still it's there. still there. So the Botox prevents your muscles from scrunching up, and it just relaxes your muscles. And in my practice, I like to use the least amount of product that I think will get you a good result. Okay. Because I can help you look like a more relaxed, less tired version of yourself. Yourself. More yes. than that, I cannot do. Yes, okay. So um, let's talk about Juvederm and Juvederm Voluma. Voluma. What's oh. the difference between those so, two? So Juvederm is, they're both fillers, and they give you back volume. Okay. But the Voluma is a brand new product, and it's just for your cheeks. Okay. Because I got bad cheeks already. Everybody, you have nice cheeks. Because we age in and down. So everyone is concerned about yes, here and they think that, that it's coming from here, but it's not. It's coming oh. from here. So what the Voluma does is put this back up oh. where it used to be. So maybe I do this. Yeah, okay. so that, that's what that does. So yeah, it's really exciting. And you get the injections, how long? So, how so long does it take? takes about an hour for me to do the injections. I allow an hour because um, it's very artistic and I mm -hmm. like to take my time. And the results will last two years. Oh my God! I know it's really exciting. That's crazy. I know. But and the results are right away. Right away. 
All right, I've got to ask this now, question too because I'm thinking, do you do it with the person laying no, down? No, you have to do no, it sitting you have up to do so you see the weight. Up. Exactly, so that gravity is with us and mm -hmm. not against us. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. It is. Yeah, amazing. You know, when I was a little girl, there was nothing. There was a facial or a facelift, and there was, if you remember, probably don't because you're probably too young. Noxema and Pond's yeah, cold cream. I remember those things. That was Absolutely it. Absolutely, I do. And that was it. And wow. if you couldn't tolerate any of that, you were out of luck. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Thank and we goodness. come along. Women right. started doing their own things. <laughs> start taking over things. Well, Maybe we can start it. building bathrooms. Yeah, there you go. Because you can <laughs> tell you, men build right. toilets, that's right? Because right. <laughs> they be any lower. But anyway, um, <laughs> Invisalift. Oh, Let's Invisalift. Talk about Invisalift. Because um, I've heard a little bit about that. Very gentle. It uses medical grade ultrasound. So okay. when you use a machine to tighten up, because that's also what the Invisalift mm -hmm. is, whenever you use a machine to tighten up, what you're doing is basically fooling the body into making more collagen. And so what happens is it's either the ultrasound, or it's the radio frequency, or it's laser, doesn't matter. It spares the top layer, it hits the dermis where it's supposed to hit, it creates a wound. You don't mm -hmm. see it, you don't feel it, but your body perceives that it has been wounded, and in a wound healing response, your body oh sends God. collagen. Oh my God! And that's how you fool your body into making more collagen over time, because when we're younger, we make collagen faster. When we're older, that's uh, more mature. Sure. <laughs> I, like I like that. I like that. More mature. Oh, yes, yes. When we're more mature, we break it down faster. So with the Invisalift, can you use that on other body parts? <laughs> that's a good question. Just curious. I know people want to know, right? Everybody wants to know. I guess I could. I haven't okay. tested it out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, microdermabrasion. Microdermabrasion. This has been around, oh my goodness, since the beginning of time. This is a great way to take off the top layer of skin because skin renews itself from the bottom up. So the cells on the bottom are brand new and they're perfectly shaped and they're perfectly formed and they function very well. And as they move up, they start to change their shape, they don't work as well, and the skin that's on the top is actually dead skin. So what the machine does is take off, very gently, that layer of dead skin, which does two things. Now the layer that you have is brand new skin, and it also sends a signal to the cells on the bottom, speed it up, we lost the top layer. Okay, so is that almost like sloughing? Absolutely, your, Okay. But, but in professional hands. So, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, because when you, when you do it yourself, um, you can break your capillaries, you can, you can do a lot of damage okay. with, with those scrubs. So, how but how it's long does that take to heal when you do that? Oh, there's no healing. Okay. You just walk out looking good. And you're good. You're and good. you can wear makeup the next Absolutely. day. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why well, do you learn something new every yeah. day? I, this is, yeah. is this good stuff, ladies? This is great stuff. great stuff. I love this. All right. Um, I love what I do. Brown spots. I'm trying brown to get everything spots. that all of you have asked me about. So brown, brown spots. Brown spots, spots get are really age hard. a little bit. Brown mm -hmm. spots are harder than the television would make you believe. Okay. Um, and the lighter they are, the harder they are to, to get, get rid of. Them. And wow. here's why. Because when they're darker, they're closer to the surface of the skin. Mm. When they're lighter, mm. they're further they're down. down. That's where they appear lighter because you're looking through a few layers of skin to see. So the lighter ones are actually more difficult to get rid of. The darker ones mm. respond very nicely to laser. The lighter ones really need a little bit more aggressive treatment. Sometimes laser, sometimes a lightning cream, you know, more treatments and so on. I'm just gonna not ask impossible. You about the lightning creams. Not impossible, but are those safe to use on your face? They are. And everyone, um, you know, I have some that contain hydroquinone. It's kind of controversial, but you know, it's been around a long time. And then I have others that have uh, different kind of botanicals. Mm -hmm. And everybody responds differently to everything. So, you know, sometimes what works for one person doesn't Do work. Or for another person. Okay, very good. Um, rosacea. Oh, this is really hard. Yes. This is really hard. And the television, would you have you believe also that this is, you know, one, two, three. And it's not. Because we don't know why. 
we don't know what co- you know we don't know why it happens we know what triggers it alcohol yes. all the all the things you like sun. alcohol sun mexican food yes. hot and spicy red jamaican wine. food cuban oh, food yeah. my oh, food yeah. jamaican <laughs> food it's yes. a cry and shame yes. but um, so we know what triggers it but we don't know what causes it so uh, to treat it topically is um, it's a a, it's a little hit and miss sometimes mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then veins, both facial oh, veins, veins and then the old spider veins yeah. in the legs. Yeah. So. so the facial veins, so both of them can be treated with a laser. Okay. And uh, the facial veins, and especially women get a lot of the little veins around here, mm-hmm. um, and they're kind of difficult because you're always blowing your nose. And so because your skin thins out as you mature. And your skin on your face is thinner than your skin on your body anyway. But then as you mature, it thins out even more. So little capillaries that used to hide underneath are now closer to the surface. So now if you're scrubbing with grains, you can break them. If you're blowing your nose, you can break them. So, but they can be treated with a laser. All right, last, before we move on to your book, which I can't wait to get to, is my own problem. I have dark circles oh, under my eyes. No matter really how much hard. sleep, no matter how much water I yeah. drink, yeah. And yeah. it's hereditary. Yeah. I know you know my mom yeah. has it, my sister has yeah. it, I have it. Yeah. So dark circles another thing, really harder to get rid of than the television would have you believe. And so what happens is like I mentioned, the skin on, on your face is thinner. And so under here, this is the thinnest skin of all. Yeah. And there are no oil glands under here. So even though the skin on your face, you know, uh, is thin, has thinned out, you can still replenish it and keep it a little moisturized. The skin under your eyes, really hard. So now what happens are the little veins, the little capillaries are closer to the surface, take on a blue tint. Tint, yes. And there you have it. Yeah. So, you know, there are some some products, over the counter products that will help, Mm -hmm. but, harder to get rid of than... Yeah, I've than tried I, a couple. I, yeah. She won't, yeah. She's an eye doctor, yeah. so my sister yeah. will not oh. use any of those yeah. products. Yeah. 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 So as we wrap up, okay. let's talk about your book. Oh, thank the, you. The uh, 48 Tips to Turn Try oh. into Triumph. So actually, that's my tips booklet that I wrote while I'm waiting, waiting for, my for the book, booklet to come out. My book to come okay. out. Okay, okay, so tell book, us about the book. So the book is with the publisher right now. Oh, what's actually, the name of it? The book is... Um, oh, for goodness sake, I'm blocking. That's okay. okay. <laughs> but let me, while oh you think God, about it, I'm going to tell the audience what I love about the tips. Okay. First of all, the 48 tips, you know, some of them people might know. Yeah. But the ones that really rang home for me was look in another direction. Because mm-hmm. sometimes you really need yeah. to be willing to change your course. Yep. Sometimes we're yep. on a path yep. that we're just like, yep. this is where I'm going. This, There's my goal. And I'm not going to. Yeah. Sometimes and you need a different. To make be willing to make mistakes. Yeah. Keep your yeah. commitments that you make to yourself. To yourself. Yes. To yourself. Um, don't yeah. make a career out of your don't marriage. Marry I love. Your destiny. I love that. Don't I love your that. Destiny. Let Get your goal trump oh. your humiliation. Yeah, that's that's got to be the biggest one. Let yeah. your goal Let trump your, goal your humiliation. Trump humiliation and yeah. put yourself on your on your own, own to do list. Yeah. Because yeah. we don't do that. No, we don't. We put yeah. everyone else yeah. first in our lives yeah. as women. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the book so the and book, when it's coming out. Tough cookies don't crumble. Oh. Mm. Turn setbacks into success with style. Okay. When is that coming out? Probably second week in January, maybe third. Okay. I'm in the process of picking out covers right now. Awesome. Very exciting. I can't believe I'm even saying I'm picking out a cover for oh, my that's book. It's great. It's great. And, you should uh, be on the cover. Book, outlines the strategies that help transform me from college dropout and secretary in New York City to emergency room doctor, entrepreneur, public speaker, and author. Exactly. Because it's never too late and everyone defines success differently, but it's really the same the same steps to get there. It doesn't matter how you define it. The same steps, the to, same get steps to get there. Thank you so much. Thank you so Dr. much. Dr. Susan O'Malley, Sola Medica. Please look for her. You can see her right here. Check out the website, and the pictures are amazing. And we hope that you tune into the next Lynette McCarty show. Have a wonderful holiday, and thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks to the crew, G2 Utley, Miguel Vasquez. Love you guys.